is Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episodes one and two. Uh, you know what? I cannot really pronounce her first name. Um, the Sailor Uniform Show, aka the other show that was also by Cloverworks that was also completing with Darling at the time. Um, funny enough, like there, there was a point where I, I you know. I kind of was going to watch this show. And then at the same time, I kind of wasn't. There was one scene. And I didn't see... I saw this scene, like, kind of out of context um, and such. And it immediately kind of turned me off of watching the show. But then, like, people were like, no, like, you should watch it. It's really wholesome and cute and stuff. And then I'm like, but that scene! <laughs> Hello! But, like, yeah, some of y'all are just, like, with 86, some of y'all are probably be like, oh my god, she's finally fucking watching this show. Like, oh my god, oh my god, it's finally fucking happening. Or, like, thank Christ! <laughs> and such. But I'm gonna try to do something different with this show. I'm not gonna say what. Um, just, you know, whenever this does come out, just hold on a little, but a little bit longer, because it is gonna be busy the next few weeks with this and several other things and other projects and ish between this and work and everything. So, yes. Other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode one in three, two, one, go. And I'm guessing the show is underrated because, I mean, I didn't really hear a lot of people talk about this show. She cute though. Oh, is that her house? That's so cute and simple. Nina? God, stop.
Oh, honey. <laughs> they really decided to make freaking what's her face the mom of this show. took my other two face things to put them in an anime together once again. <laughs> it's just now they're playing family members once again except it's a mom and a daughter. And before that they were playing sisters. Oh, but you'll always be able to see her. Oh, baby. Mm hmm. No, you'll make friends. You will. There's no pressure. You got this. Halfway, you know. you to focus on that uniform. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
so it's done. <laughs> Perfect fit. She looks so beautiful. Mm-hmm. Oh, honey, Komichi, baby. Oh. She's so fucking cute. It's okay to be nervous. the uniform. <laughs> oh. Well. Oh. Call me too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the blades are very cute, but the uniform is better. Your mom's oh damn. 
And plus, your mom made it. She spent all that time and effort making that for you. And so, of course, it's going to be super special to you. So you wear it as a privilege. And that's okay. You're gonna wear it, huh? No. Mm hmm. Like a pretty here. There you go. Fluff that hair out. You main character, baby. Damn, that's a long ass walk. <laughs> now the question is, is she gonna meet that one girl today? And are they gonna show the one scene that it's <laughs> She might be nice. You don't know until you go inside. <laughs> yep. The <laughs> it was in this episode. Mm -mm. I don't know if I can, honey.
It is. It'll make her stand out, but hopefully in a good way. just relaxes you. No, it's because she did the same thing. Alrighty, first initial thoughts, even after finally seeing the context of that scene, I, I mean, okay, because, <laughs> like, you know, let's go a little more in depth on that, because I saw the, uh, like, the out of context scene, I think, not week one, I think about week two, three, or four for this show, and I, like, you know, by week one or week two, when I was, like, just like everybody else, obsessing over Darling because of someone who was waiting for Dress Up Darling and read half of the manga and stuff and who was super excited for it, I was just like, yes, I cannot wait. But when a lot of people kept asking me, yeah, Deja, watch this show. I think you'll like this show. And I was scrolling on my Twitter, just looking down my timeline, and then boom, that scene pops up, and I was instantly like, what the fuck is this show? I'm not watching this. <laughs> because I was like, what in the world did I just see out of context of this show? But now, after several weeks later, heck, almost like a couple of months later, after finally giving this show a chance, because I semi- have free time and such. It's not that bad. It's really good. It's very interesting. I love the fact that her mom ended up making her uniform, even though it's not the uniform the newest one she's supposed to wear and such. It's supposed to be a blazer, but poor baby, because she was so in love with her mom's uniform and thinking that that was still going to be the same uniform all the way up until when it was her time to go to school is cute. And I love the fact that she's wearing it with pride. And being like, because at first I was sitting here thinking like, oh, she's not going to like wear what her mom made her. Because yes, her mom like possibly stayed up until the wee hours of the morning doing everything that she could to finish this uniform on time. And that is dedication. And that is love. And truly when you care about someone so much that you don't care if you are wasting hours and hours and hours of your time to sleep, your time to eat, your time to do whatever, to get something done for the person that you love and truly care about. So I, I really love the fact that Komachi is, you know, she she's very, like, warming towards that. And she, even though, like, her sister Koko <laughs> came in, and how, you know, Komachi, she was very, like, upset and wondering, like, should I really still wear this? 
And, you know, if I do wear this, it's just going to be me. And what it sometimes is just you wearing a certain thing and no one else is wearing something that is, like, somewhat similar to what you're wearing. Yeah, it gets kind of a little awkward and embarrassing. We've all had that moment. I know I have, especially, like, where I, I've gone out plate to places, right? Or I've gone to, like, parties or gatherings and such, right? And... This was a, <laughs> this is a couple of years ago. I went to a New Year's Eve party, right? And typically, um, depending on who it is and what you're doing, 50 out of 50, you're either chilling in regular clothes or you're probably going to dress up. And so when it comes to those type of events, I always kind of need to ask someone, what is the freaking dress code? Because there was a time where I got dressed up because, you know, uh, my mom and I were talking about it and stuff, and she was like, okay, go ahead and wear this. So I was like, I'm going to bring extra clothes just in case and such. And so we get to this event, not realizing that I was outside in the hot, <laughs> you know, dead of night and such. And I'm wearing, like, something super cute, something not casual, something that is dressy, and it's hot outside. And I felt, like, embarrassed. And stuff where everyone is wearing regular type clothes and here I am wearing what the fuck I'm wearing. So I was like, here, change your clothes, changing, I feel fine now and such. Now I'm kind of, I, I like, when I think about that, I'm not as embarrassed about it anymore. But I think at the time of what I was thinking and how I was thinking and such, oh yeah, definitely. But now it's like, okay, this is why I still also ask, what the fuck is the dress code just in case, because I need to fucking know and such. If it's a night event, you know, it, and, unless it's something like, yeah, you can wear chill, you can be chill, yeah, yeah, But if it's something where I need to dress up, then yeah, 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 let me know, please. Let me know. So I don't make a fool of myself. That's not cool. <laughs> but go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode two. Okay, episode two and three, two, one, go. I figured. <laughs> Something tells me that possibly by the end of this, like, they're going to let the school be like, okay, whatever year of a uniform had we had, and if you liked it, you can wear it to school. <laughs> Almost like, you know, be what you want to be, or be whoever you want to be, you know?
the girl, the silver haired girl, she's already cute as fuck. She might even be best girl. Who freaking knows? Who even knows that she makes a proper introduction into this show? It might be in the next few, couple of weeks when I watch the next episode. Or, you know, I say episode five, maybe. Yeah. We'll see. Probably after me. Gotta look at time. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Poor baby. I think so too. <laughs> Yeah, so you know, next time we'll wear, wear, wear some shorts. <laughs> oh, you already gave for her. <laughs> I mean, it's obvious. Did you see the way she looked at her?
Oh, baby. Well, it looks like you're going to get popular now. <laughs> well, somebody is jealous. What well, damn?
That she does. <laughs> Literally every shot of her is just gorgeous. Like, you could just be like, yes, I want that on my wall. I want this on my wall. Exactly.
<laughs> no. She's so fucking cute. I can't. Like, oh my god. This is only episode two. It, something I wanted to say during episode one, but I was like, let me wait until we finish episode two. I love the shot where it looks like it's literally the manga in the nutshell, where they take a really, like, one of the most special or quote-unquote iconic or beautiful scenes, and it literally looks like a one-to-one -one copy of what it looks like in the manga and it, it like those are like the most beautiful shots so I mean you know I <laughs> give them all the awards for this damn show this is only episode two and I cannot wait to see like what else looks gorgeous in this show from episode three to the end of this show the fact is that her dad pretended to sleep it's <laughs> that you need to know what to say I mean hey that's dads in a nutshell dads never know what to say sometimes they can say the wrong thing and sometimes they can say the right thing you just never really know also, with Kyle wanting, like, her sister's classmate to come and visit her and mirror, I thought that was cute. So, hopefully, we get an episode like that. Um, the other three that she's, well, the other two that she's made friends with. I think this group is cute. It's adorable. I, I love how she instantly wrote down everyone's name, 
memorized the hell out of it and such. It's just something about her that's just so fucking adorable. Like, oh, she just precious baby girl. And, and you know, just like with uh, <laughs> Anya from Spy Family, you know, we are living in Komachi's world. It is her world and we are all fucking living in it. And she's just so fucking adorable and precious. I mean, yes, Kyle is adorable and precious too. That's but hey. hey. We all know who the Seiyu of that girl is and how anything that she's in, especially if she plays, like, a cute kid, like, I instantly will be like, yes, protect the child. But then when she plays, like, really interesting mature roles where I can't recognize that's her until somebody says, oh, that's what's her face. And I'm like, huh? <laughs> like, are you serious? Because I'm so familiar with the voice that she uses for, like, her little kid characters, plus also, um freaking hawk from uh even though i don't watch some Billy sins anywhere like that but i'm always used to that voice and another show that she's in that i'm watching that she i think she doesn't make an appearance until the second half of the show um because it was funny the day the she made her quote-unquote appearance as the cute little character in the uh dress up darling series her she also voiced someone else in the other show and it was so funny because like I had a moment where I instantly freaked out about her and everybody was like watching the other show that she's in and everybody was like this doesn't sound like the same person so I honestly cannot wait until I get to that part but yeah I'm, I'm really excited for this to see what else is in store for um Komachi and how you know she's gonna deal with everyday life and stuff I mean it seems very similar to and, and it seems like it is a slice of life with, like, this, is that, and the third and such. So, yeah, I really enjoy it a lot. I literally cannot wait to watch the next two episodes if, because it's now, like, what, one one forty four right now. I don't know if I'm going to watch the next two episodes today or tomorrow because, ish, I'm busy, girl. But, yes, very good first two episodes. Very, uh, a very promising or interesting series, in my opinion. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes one and two of a, uh, a Kevy's Sailor Uniform. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day for the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys. Honestly, as of right now, I don't know what day I'm going to put this on. So, once I figure that out, you know. I will let you know, but until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!